Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing a live broadcast from celebrating the life of Patsy Rivera Dubrell. The family is here, friends are here. We're at Calvary Chapel in Mission Viejo, great mighty place of Almighty God, a place of service. The gentleman is playing the keyboard. You see the pulpit there. And um, this is live on the internet, live on television. And uh, we're gonna show some family members here. There we go, hi guys, you're on TV. Wave at the camera. <laughs> uh, okay, tell me your name. All right, very good, very good, very good. And you'll be able to go back later and see this on television. You can, it'll be on the archive. It'll be live, it's live right now. So if you wanna call anybody, you can. <laughs> but it's live right now. And um, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, uh, Calvary Chapel Mission Viejo. And we're gonna give you a little shot of, of the audience here while we're waiting for the service to begin. And um, you can come back later and see this. It will be on the archive uh, at the end. We'll publish it, and it'll be up there for you. So this is the family and friends gathering together today for the service that will be held here in just a minute. And this service is celebrating the life of Patsy Rivera Dubrell. Just to give you a little bit of a story, I first met Patsy when she was in a dialysis lab, sitting in a chair being dialysized next to my wife, Barbara. Since that time, my wife, Barbara, went home to be with the Lord three years ago. Patsy and I worked together on pro-life issues, worked together and met John, of course, her husband. And that's when they explained to us that uh, John and Patsy met and fell in love with each other at the dialysis clinic. And we met them and fell in love with them and worked together with Patsy and John for many years. And uh, then of course, John went home to be with the Lord. And now Patsy has joined my dear wife, Barbara and uh, John in heaven. And we praise God that they're there in heaven because we know she was our sister in the Lord. And with that, I'm going to be quiet and let you listen to the music and let us pray together for the family as they come here to celebrate to celebrate the life of Patsy Rivera Dubrell and to celebrate what Jesus has done in her life and in their lives. Pastor now will take the pulpit and begin the service.
So we're going to open this morning with a word of prayer. Please join with me. Father, we, um, we're gathered here this morning to celebrate the life of Patsy DeBrill, an incredible lady, a real friend to many, many people and to many, many babies that are alive this morning because of her ministry. We will miss Patsy bunches and bunches because of the kind of lady she was and what she stood for. Yet at the same time, we're so glad that she's with Jesus. And uh, out of pain and in heaven with her beloved husband, John. So uh, it's kind of with sadness, but yet with rejoicing. Um, you know how Patsy suffered for so many years. So we rejoice in that, but yet our hearts will miss her. So to that end, may Christ be uplifted in the service. May Patsy be remembered by her friends, her family, and that Jesus might be glorified in our time of this day. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to begin the service. Scripture reading. Good morning. We please uh, stand as I read the word of God. Patsy held a very special place in, in our family's heart, not only because of what a wonderful woman she was, but to also her New Mexico roots were, were special to us. I'm reading from Psalm verse 139. O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You have me in, behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say surely, the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For, you. for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only the if only you would slay the wicked, O oh God. Away from me, you bloodthirsty men. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O oh Lord, and abhor those who rise up against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. You may be seated.
going to read from the New Testament. I'm reading from Romans chapter 8, beginning in verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of